Uh, for you, those of you who don't know me, I'm Miles England, and the ex officio member from the select board. Um, and my only role here tonight is to uh, sort of open the meeting and uh, seek nominations for the chair. Anyone? Nominate John. Okay, I second the nomination. Second? Third. <laughs> Any other nominations from the floor? Any campaign speech you want to Is so anybody else interested in that? Uh, I don't mind doing it, but. Uh, all right. Uh, no other nominations? Okay. Let's let's put this to a vote. I think it'll probably be a, uh, all in favor of John Ordway remaining chair? Aye. 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 All opposed? Hearing none, John, the meeting is yours. Thanks, Miles. Um, and thanks for electing me again. I think it's sworn in in Greek. Oh, yes. I meant to ask that. Everyone's been sworn in, right? I think no. Jessica, did you get sworn in? I stopped by today, but <laughs> I still need to get sworn in. Okay, you should just refrain from voting. Okay. But we still have a quorum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does he mean it's been in the even though he served before? Yeah, I, yeah. I have to do it I think so. I, think should, I should kind of know this, but yeah, <laughs> I think so. Um, and I did hear from Pat, who said he was not going to be able to make it, um, so he's just confused. But we've got, uh, and Jessica, I have not heard from, what I don't know, uh, I know that uh, Caroline uh, took people of the budget community list. I assumed that she put the new people on, but I don't have a way to just have to, you can't explode it like you can in uh, Outlook. So um, maybe she didn't get the invitation, uh, but you can see on the town website though. It, it is on the website. Okay, yeah. so it does have the email on it. Well, no, sometimes no. the list will say something, but the email list will be That's something. Right. And, and the actual list on the on the website says that Charlie is still on, so it's it's dated. Yeah, I, I looked at that because I was trying to refresh my memory. So, um, Jessica, I know the last time we had this, it was people who ran and didn't have. You know, we did a separate one. So this one we're just going to, which is fine with me really, Jessica, she had a lot of votes. She's just going to become by default. No, no, she, she, she did. No, no, no. To her own term. She, she actually got elected to, to one of the terms. Oh, okay. There were, there were three candidates and three positions. Oh, all right. So all three candidates were elected. Um, and then the day after the election, Suzanne right. uh, decided to resign, which she was going to resign anyway. She had told me because she wanted to be traveling, so just that's what Jessica is officially uh, a, 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 a large member. Um, but I'll just go through the roll call quick, quick, I think we've got um, Bobby and Miles here. Um, we've got Angela. Here. Aaron. No. No. Is Aaron uh, would be school. Mm -hmm. um, Lynn's here. Charlie George is here. Joe Dash is here. Michelle is here. Peter's here. That's excused. Okay. Um, how about <coughs> nominations for a vice chair? Since that was actually held by Suzanne previously, I won't be. She's not an option. Um, is that anybody, uh... I'll nominate Joe. Well, I was going to say either that or the symptom, whichever one. You want to be so both? Like, no, I don't want to be both. Vice chair's really. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's not. It, I mean, unless he's not here. Yeah. yeah. If you fill in for a meeting, if I'm not here, that's. Okay. So uh, somebody nominated Joe. Second. Second from Charlie. Uh, any discussion? Any other any other people interested or nominated? All in favor of electing Joe as the vice chair? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Staying? Joe, congratulations. Um, the next one is for the, um, the CIP representative. Is there I know Joe's interested in 
fill it if somebody else wants to do it. That's that's fine too. Hold on, Major. Um, okay. Okay. Like John Joe's on a roll. He's, <laughs> he's feeling it. Let him go with it. We gotta let him go with it. So Lynn nominates and, and the Angela seconds. Um, any 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 others discussion? Uh, you have to discuss on on the phone, but actually speech. speech. <laughs> actually. Miles, maybe you have direction, maybe I'll call Suzanne. It's I mean, I've read up on it, I know what it is, and, and stuff like that. I'm not sure who the other members are. Um, so, I, I'm the ex officio on CIP. Um, we'll get a member from um, planning. I guess Caroline is a member. Um, this is all right. Not the more than three people. Um, our approach with CIP in the last couple of years, at least the last, yeah, I'm going to say the last couple of years, is to have the meetings very tightly, like over a course of two weeks. Mm -hmm. The department heads come to um, request for CIP funds, um, and then as a group, we sort of debate, like, does it make sense this year? Are we buying it? Too much this year, and we spread it out. That, that's what okay. it's, it's. I like CIP. Um, so, so Caroline will coordinate. I guess I just. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll just wait for her. Yep. Same as So Joe's been nominated and seconded. All in favor of Joe being on CIP. Hi. Hi. Any opposed? Congratulations, Joe. Two in a row. Also have the next thing is just um, on our approach to filling the vacancy from Suzanne and what we've done more recently in the past is we've had um, an advertisement put forward or or members talk to people who might be interested because it's more almost more recruiting than it is um, uh, people clamoring to, to fill a position as that we saw three three openings and only three uh, three people ran so. Uh, but that's, if you follow that same path, should we ask uh, Caroline or ask the sub board to advertise um, for, for interest and then next meeting, um, if there, somebody has come forward, select them. Just, just Was there anybody that had, because oh, there were no like, write-ins that had a massive amount of votes or nothing, like no. 20 or something? There's a person that does it every election. I, I don't know the name. Yeah, I don't think it's a viable. Right. I don't think there's somebody who's interested so yeah. far. Legitimately interested. Yeah. So um, that's what we'll do, and then the next meeting we can. Hopefully, somebody will come forward. And if somebody has a thought of, you know, somebody, like, that's how you got up here, right? Yeah, somebody Charlie. Pulled in. So, but I mean, if somebody has somebody like that, do we want to communicate before the meeting? Because didn't we have people put together a little we did. overview, and then they came here and they talked about, yeah. why, I mean, so my point is, if, if somebody has somebody who's interested, do we want to get them to come to the next meeting? And then yeah, I think, I think what we did questions is um, you know why do you why would you like to be on the board what what, what would you bring to the board to, uh, to the committee rather um, what would you bring to the committee and I can't remember what the third are you crazy um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but anyway something like that we can and I, I think um, Angela and Peter, Peter both came and for, yeah. made their pitch and at that time, there were two openings and two people were interested, and so they were unanimous. We're selected, and that's that's just to fill out the term. So um, it would go for a the What is the term? What's the what's the end of her term? I think she was up next this year. Is, this is so it's just one to one year. Yeah, I'm pretty okay. sure. Yeah, yeah, right to that was <laughs> 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 so I have a question about that. 
wouldn't it be just a one-year term anyway? It is. Yeah. Even, yeah, just, if, even if it were, yeah. if, if she had three years to go, it would still be, it would just be through the term. Right. one year. And then Until the next year. Because okay. yeah. sometimes you'll see a three-year position and one-year and one position open. And so that's what, and so you can get elected for a one-year term. And that's what happens as well. Yeah, I, Suzanne already did it. Um, okay. 
So I can just forward you that, and we just need to fill in those dates. I don't think she picked dates for them, or she might have picked dates, but we just have to make sure that, oh. that they work. So it's, oh, okay. it's pretty much been flushed out. It's just a matter of getting everybody to agree to the, to the dates. That, oh. that, that makes it easier. Like, uh, most, Suzanne did most of the work already, which was very nice. And she, she reformatted it, and it looks really good. So, um, and I will circulate it tonight. So, uh, is there any other business anybody would like to bring up? I just have one. I know, um, you know so moving into my third year, and, and what I've found, especially with the school budget, is like, I don't see us adding much value to that. I mean, everything comes in and it's the first page, so this is, you know, all you can, this is only, this is only the discretionary one. And I'm like, I guess that's okay, but should we be more active in that, or is it really just the full responsibility of the, uh, the board, the school board, to do that? In the sense that, you know, they deal with the contract, should there have been, you know, I mean, I realize there's a lot of fixed costs in there, but this, I know, people get pretty agitated about the town budget. That's not the big nut in this town. And in any town. Well, that's true. I mean, even when I was in New Jersey, it's a state thing. But is it something we don't need to delve into? And that's fine. But if we should be more proactive in that, then this would be the time to start planning. We spend twenty thousand of students. That's that's way above the speech, which I understand why for all those numbers. So I don't know where that's just a, it's something for people to think about. I don't know what we're you know how much you know I, I feel we don't add any value to that process. I agree. It's, it's, it's hard. And therefore, why bother? With it? Yeah. Get, get it. Which means that you have to move back a few steps to make it a little bit. Difference. And so by the time we see it, it's fully baked, but you know, it's, a, it's a preliminary stuff that goes on. It's I don't know how much authority we have um, with the involvement of it. You know, the, the school board does the, the budget and nego negotiating. I mean, at times we've asked certain things and we can't even know at that time because they're still in negotiation. So mm -hmm. I agree, by the time we get it, it kind of is what it is, but. I think we do have some value in the sense that there have been times where the committee has said, holy cow, um, you know, and there were some changes that were made. So there is that ability, um, but it de they kind of are their own entity, like water yeah. and sewer, you know, similar to them, they, they do their own thing and, and we're kind of, you know, with it, but yeah. with the school, I think we have really limited authority. No, I mean, even going with TAP, we, we, have a, we have a dialogue that goes on with the select board. We give some input, and I think it adds value. School budget, uh, it's like, well, it just maybe. doesn't seem like we have much value to it. So we just accept that that's fine, but if, if other towns, if people know of other things where the budget can be more proactive in in reviewing and directing the, the school budget, then that's a different set of rules and responsibilities. I wonder if, if a step in the direction of having more foresight of its content would be to have more than one presentation. Like, what's the discretionary piece? Obviously, the salary part that that's that's negotiated. It's, yeah. But the, the, when the, we talk about the discretion, what's discretionary, what's not discretionary, and, and how, how are they thinking about discretionary? And we, we see that before it's at the very end. Uh, uh, that would be. Uh, I, mean, I realize some of the. You, know, you have these fixed costs that are only spread over 140, 150 students. You have 300 students, so I understand all of that. And, and maybe it's just not something that can be solved. Uh, uh, Joe makes a good point, and Jonathan, you make a good point if you knew early that the school is old and it needs a lot of infrastructure repairs, and those are expensive. 
if we have an idea what's coming down the pike, uh, we could evaluate that. Like, for example, they wanted to bring fresh air into the school. That means putting venting systems around the whole school. Is there a less expensive way to do that? And I think the contractor hired to do that because, shall I remember, uh, it was like fifty or sixty thousand. Or just to well, that was just people. that was that was the study. That was the study. Yeah. That was almost a million thought, dollars to do the job. Which I thought, yeah, and that's when I said at that point. Well, we never. It never went is, there, is there another <laughs> way to bring fresh air into a classroom versus having to run retrofitting ventilation systems in an old building? It's very expensive. So a uh, good point that Joe makes, if we have knowledge of that ahead of time rather than just saying, well, here it is. Well, actually yeah. the whole town should, should know what they're thinking about it. And uh, the only way that can happen is if they come up early and make a presentation before the budget's proposed, discuss what they're going to include in it. If there are any big changes, okay? I mean, but, I mean that's really the goal of the of the expenditure reviews that, that we have, and, and we end up kind of just going through it because they're off cycle a little bit, and so um, by the time we're we're in uh, we're reviewing their fourth quarter when it's our second quarter, um, no, ours with the, the town and water and sewer. Uh, and and uh, so I think I think we need to proactively ask a little bit more, maybe ask the representative to prepare. It's not just this is what we've spent so far, but here's what we're thinking for discretionary versus not discretionary. Yeah. And I think that is true. I mean, most of the review is just running and educating the children, but it doesn't seem to be a similar. SIP like function in there? Do they have these documents? Do they have the budget out? Do people see the impact of where they want to be in 10 years within the school so that, so especially they have a better understanding of what's... I think they, they do because they, I know they have sort of a, a capital improvement mm -hmm. program. There are things that have been on the list and they're sort of chipping away at it. Um, so I think that's happening. So right, you're right. And there's been there's all these reserves. Aside, there's, they're reserves. always putting putting on reserves for yeah. various yeah. projects. Yeah. But it might be it might be helpful um, you know, to the point you're making to have a separate um, budget that or a listing, just even a listing that shows what those capital improvements are that they're rolling out over the next X years. Because they are pretty pretty clear about what they are in terms of um, articles. It's there, but it's not separated from the regular budget into the list that we get from the town. And we tend Somehow. not to talk about the, the capital items until the very, very end sometimes. Um, so I, I think I think having an earlier discussion you know, during the next presentation. Right, their first quarter is just starting. I'm just starting the uh, no, fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. That, that's what I mean. Oh, that's their fourth. Right. Okay. No. This is their no. fourth quarter first, now. It's we tomorrow. just finished second quarter. So their efficient fashion fourth quarter. So their first quarter will be tomorrow. our October um, yeah. meeting. Okay. Seven. July first. They July first. Their first quarter. Got it. Right. That's their first beginning of the quarter. Right. So a bit of sign language. And some of it's probably just asking the questions too, you know, and getting the representative from the school to talk about it. Because I think, you know, some of it, like the negotiation part, which is where all the money is really going, we think about. But certainly, we can discuss, you know, like the ventilation. And that's a good example of where I think they heard loud and clear, like, hold the smoke, you yeah. know. And there's been a few other incidents mm -hmm. where they pulled back when they did the um, study, to, yeah. and it was a seven million dollar presentation. And, and you know, right. they heard they so they do hear, but I agree with you. I think there's more. Well, there should be a little bit more interaction, bringing it back to them or to us. Or it's important to have transparency on what's going on, so there's not all of a sudden you come into the end of the year and things are being voted 
on and where did all this stuff come from. Sometimes they're harder decision discussions, but if you're having those beforehand, we're getting educated and thinking about it and not just getting slammed. So that, that's my main point. I think there just has to be some more transparency in what's this to what the final number is. Yeah, I don't think it's necessarily like it's hidden, it's just not pushed out and presented. It's, yeah. it's there, it's just not presented to us. We don't. So you came along, so we weren't thinking. Discussion. Um, I'll take a, 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 a motion to adjourn. I move we adjourn. Second, second to Miles. All in favor? All right. All right. We're adjourned. That uh, nice seeing everybody. Yes, you too. Can I just ask when's the next meeting? Joe Depp. Where are you going? And Miles. Maybe you want to.